beauties, this is Sam from Instant Beauty. So I decided to film uh, what not to do when you have extensions video. I have so many what you know what to expect and what to do when you get extensions, but never a what not to do. So these are my top five um, rules for what not to do when you get extensions. So my first rule of what not to do is not to bleach or lighten the extensions. Most of the time, um, extensions come already uh, dyed or bleached, so to re-lighten them uh, is typically a no-no. Um, like 99.999% of the time, um, it will not work well. You won't get the result you want, um, or you know it'll damage the extension. So um, because of the process of the, the extensions, what happens to them chemically before you even get them, uh, you don't know exactly what happened, so um, it's not a good idea to lighten them. Keep in mind, you can darken them a few shades if you want to color them darker, uh, but I don't recommend to, uh, to lighten them or bleach them. So my next uh, what not to do when you have extensions is uh, not to brush your extensions um, when they're wet. So like to use an actual brush. Uh, I recommend to use a wide tooth comb. I've said this a million times in my different videos, but it's a really big tip because uh, if you were, uh, were to brush your hair, when, especially when they're tangled, um, when they're wet, you can cause a lot of breakage. You could cause the extensions to slip out. Um, it's just a lot of damage to the extension. Um, unnecessary because the best thing to do uh, and what I suggest to do is to use a detangle spray before um, going at it with a, a brush or anything uh, and comb them out with a wide tooth comb. So if you have excessive tangles, uh, use a wide tooth comb so that way you don't damage the hair, it's much safer and you won't lose any extensions. So my next rule of what not to do when you get extensions, um, I mean you don't want to use a really hot styling tool. Uh, like you know most girls they'll crank up their uh, straightener to like you know 420 degrees or the highest setting that it could go um, and yes it might give you you know a nice long lasting curl or straighten uh, but I don't recommend doing that when you have extensions. First of all I suggest using a thermal protectant like a heat protectant um, so then this way you are protecting your extensions and your own hair um, and use a mild setting, so or, or like a medium setting on your straightener or curling iron, and even your blow dryer. And uh, as a side tip, uh, if you have fusion extensions, do not use a blow dryer on high heat for sure, because you may actually melt the glue and uh, you'll end up with a big mess, or more likely your extensions will just slip out because the glue is now soft. So um, no matter what type of extension you have, I don't recommend to use a high heat setting um, and especially if you're not using a heat protectant spray. So my next um, what not to do rule is uh, don't cut your extensions yourself unless you know what you're doing. Um, for the most part, I've, I've made a few videos on how to actually cut your extensions yourself because I mean a lot of times you're buying extensions online <clears throat> or you get them done and the person doesn't cut them for you and then you realize like uh, you know you have your short hair and then the super long extensions and it just looks ridiculous it doesn't look natural I get it uh, but the uh, biggest mistake people can make is trying to cut them themselves because then you have to uh, like basically redo everything or order them again if they're too short or they're cut weird or something so I don't recommend to do it um, unless really you've practiced before or you know you, you've done your research and watched my videos and, no seriously but go to a uh, professional somebody who knows how to cut extensions specifically not just hair because it's different um, so so yeah that's my tip don't cut them yourself because you'll probably ruin them <laughs> so my final rule of what not to do uh, is don't go to sleep with wet extensions <clears throat> um, or go to sleep. if you have clip-ins don't go to sleep with clip-ins at all because clip-ins can actually cause bald spots when you are you know rolling around and they're clipped in there really tight um, they can actually snag the hair and it's a big disaster I have so many clients that have bald spots from sleeping with clip-ins but anyways, my main point though is to not sleep with extensions when they're wet. So don't go to bed with wet hair basically. Um, because depending on the method that you have on, whether it be fusion or tape, it can actually, the water can seep in and actually cause them to fall out sooner than you want. Um, as well as, you know, just any kind of extension can really tangle up when it's wet. 
So to go to sleep with it um, wet, you're probably going to end up with a big mess in the morning that you're going to have to deal with. So I recommend to at least semi-dry your hair before bed, and <clears throat> comb it out nicely, and then put it up either in a high ponytail or in two pigtails or something, somewhere, some way that it's comfortable for you to sleep and um, that the extensions won't be matting. Those are my main five what not to do rules. So um, I hope you guys mm. learned something. Mm. If you have any of your own tips, please feel free to leave them below. And if you are not already subscribed, please sub hit the subscribe button. And uh, I will see you again in another video. Bye, guys. Ah,